Hello, and welcome to a short overview of movement and movement techniques in Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and Assassin's Creed Rogue. I've received occasional comments asking about this or requesting I make it for quite some time now, so now's the time. This video uses my earlier movement guide on the classic AC games as a foundation, so if you haven't seen that, you should at least skim it. Movement in the Kenway Saga is very similar to the original Assassin's Creed games, with some key differences, so it helps to know what we're comparing it to and what we're building from. The key differences are, High Profile is now Sprint and Parkour rolled into one button. Holding High Profile will prevent you from jumping off heights that would damage or kill you. The system will now stop you at the edge. While in midair, catching ledges and controlling your hand's grab direction no longer requires a held button, just your left stick or WASD keys. There is now a way to force descent off an edge instead of just jumping forward. Now, let's explore each of these fully. Holding a high profile will perform safe movement. The game actually teaches this, but I'll review it here anyway. This is exactly like holding legs in a high profile from previous games, but it's one button now. If you run at a wall, you'll begin climbing. If you run at an edge or obstacle, you'll climb or jump, moving through everything in front of you. Business as usual. Now, if you run at an edge that the Animus thinks would cause damage or desynchronize you, the system will not let you make that jump, therefore keeping you safe. You can unshackle yourself from this limiter by holding legs or jump while running at the edge or tapping a manual jump out the same way that you would in the classic games. If you're confident in where you're going and you feel secure in your movement, always high profile and legs at the same time because it'll keep you moving smoothly without stuttering. But if you're afraid or you're worried that you might fling yourself off of something, just hold high profile only. This is especially useful if you want to safely run through trees, since they're very twisty and they have irregular pathing. You no longer need to hold down a button to reach for grabbable ledges. You just move your analog stick or movement keys in a direction. You can only do this inside of a 180 degree angle in front of yourself. What that means is you can't catch ledge backwards anymore that has been removed. You can drop off edges of any height if you run at them while holding your drop button. You will plummet straight down. This is really useful for so many situations because there's no animation attached to it so it's truly instant. It helps when chasing targets, for general movement through the world, or chasing papers flying away like almanac pages or shanties. You heard me say edges of any height though, right? I mean it. You can and will kill yourself by using this recklessly, so be careful. If you mess up using this and there's a wall just beside you, you can grab onto it to save yourself. Using ejects while you're hanging on a wall works exactly like the classic games. To side eject, hold high profile, then move sideways and tap jump. To back eject, hold high profile, then tap jump without any movement. Now, they changed how you use these while you're running up a wall, and it can be confusing. The secret is, you need to input the action faster and sooner in the wall run animation. If you wait a bit too long, it locks you out of it until you grab onto the wall or ledge with your hands. So if you're having trouble ejecting during wall runs in the Kenway games, that means you need to do it sooner than you think. Run at an object like a fence and hold a drop to vault it. You can do this by holding jump while running at one as well. Vaulting is mostly a visual thing, but it does change the interaction you do on these objects. Normally, you would run onto the object and then jump forward off of it, which in some cases you don't want to do. By vaulting it, you reduce the amount of time being inside an interaction with that obstacle. Sometimes you can choose to step up onto a fence or low obstacle in order to mash out an air assassinate so you can blade a fleeing target who's a little too far away. As a side note, you can extend air assassinations this way off of wall runs as well. Start a wall run and quickly mash assassinate to fly off of it and kill the nearest enemy. This does work in Assassin's Creed 1 to Rogue, but it's easiest to use in AC1 to Revelations since you can lock onto enemies in those games. The Kenway Saga don't have a lock on feature, so whatever Connor, Desmond, Edward, or Shay hit is usually whoever happens to be closest to you. That's all the movement related information you really need to know for Assassin's Creed 3, Black Flag, and Rogue. Thanks for watching and stay sneaky. Okay.